Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna to talk about my new truck. This is a 2022 Chevy Silverado with the 2.7 liter turbo and four cylinder engine. So this is my new adventure vehicle. Uh, if you saw the last video about the Yukon or the last car video I did was about me selling my 05 Yukon XL. Uh, that was the vehicle I used to go do some stealth camping with and things like that. And uh, going ahead and getting rid of it because we've got this to replace it. So I wanted to do a quick walk around and also talk to you a little bit about this truck. I've seen uh, some stuff online where people are bad mouthing the motors on these or, you know, asking a bunch of questions about why they're not selling and things like that. Uh, the lot that I got it off of, it was the only truck on the lot that was uh, in July of this year, 2022, and it was very hard to find any trucks really uh, on the lot, to be honest with you. And so, but again, this is a 2022 Silverado Custom uh, with the four point with the 2.7 liter turbo engine, and it's a crew cab, short bed. It does have some really cool features. Uh, it's got the steps in the t in the bumper, which that's been a feature now for quite a few years. Um, here's the key fob. As you can see, you know, standard key fob, but it's got the remote start and then this cool feature right here. So I thought that was pretty neat, especially for a basically a base model pickup truck. This one does actually have the spray-in Chevy bed liner. That's a, an additional cost option there, but it does have it. It came pre-wired with a, a wiring harness for a seven pin connector for towing and of course a uh, towing hitch as well. Now, one of the things that I like about this truck is how high it sits. It's a two wheel drive, but it is a high sitting truck and I like that. Of course, it's got the uh, Chevy slant um, where the nose of the truck is lower than the rear of the truck, but that's for towing. So that way when you set the load down in the back for payload capacity or for towing, when it squats, it'll squat and be level instead of you know, being kind of cattywampus, as they say. It comes with 20 inch uh, tire, wheels and tires on it. So this is the interior. It, again, it is a base model, but this is a base model in 2022, not 2002. So base models now, of course, are power windows and power locks. I think you have to actually special order or get the work truck version to have manual locks and manual windows. Uh, you see it's got the center console that folds down. That actually folds up and there is a seat belt there and lockable storage under it. Here is the window sticker. We're gonna talk about that fuel mileage there. It has cruise, but you can see being a base model, this is a blank. This is where all the stereo, the steering wheel stereo controls would be. It does still come with a touch screen. Here, I'll get in here and crank it up for you. It did not come with an electronic brake controller for towing, but I did add one. Now, don't pay attention to that fuel mileage that it's showing right there. Um, I had the truck sitting in idling, and of course that just tears up fuel mileage, so don't worry about that. I'll actually insert a picture of some uh, standard fuel mileage that I've been getting uh, on this thing. It's been uh, 18.7 miles per gallon, over, over 300 miles on a tank of gas that I was uh, driving, so that's not bad. The window sticker here it says 19 in the city 22 on the highway and I can tell you on the highway when I'm taking it easy I've got 
excuse me, I've gotten 22 to 23. In the city, if I'm taking it real easy, I can get around 19. But, you know, that eight, like I say on, on the picture that's going to be inserted into the video, it'll show 320-something, 330-something miles, I believe. And it'll show like 18.6 to 18.7 on the fuel mileage. That's really pretty good for a big old truck, if you ask me. My 05 Yukon had the 5.3 liter V8. And it was terrible. Around town, I was getting 15 miles, 15 and a half miles per gallon. So this is definitely a step up. Um, but here's the touch screen, which it has Apple CarPlay. So why would you need GPS on, in your vehicle if you've got a touch screen like that and Apple CarPlay? Because then your phone is your GPS. So this is a really cool feature of the new Silverados. So you've got the normal backup camera, but then you also have, for towing, the backup camera that leads you into the hitch. You can even lower the tailgate from right here. That's a cool option. It's got the auto start assist. It's got lane, uh, lane assist as well. The trailer control right there. Let's see here. It's got the old and new version for the USB. Plenty of charging. You can charge right there. Got a plug right there. Two storage boxes right there, glove boxes. Got storage right here as well. The one thing I don't like is that there are no cup holders in the back seat. Don't pay attention to the, the junk back here. It is a truck and it is my daily driver, so I do have to have my stuff. But I do like this storage option here. As you can see, I store different things under there, umbrella tools, stuff like that. And so you can actually lay down at an angle right here i can anyway i'm i'm six foot tall and i can lay down right there so hey i could sleep in it if i had to i'm gonna hit the button in the cab and show y'all how cool is that <laughs> it also has the lights on both sides and then you've got, whoops, plug right there. So overall, I've owned this truck for three months and I would tell you I'm happy with it. I enjoy driving this truck. Um, it has 310 horsepower, 420 foot pounds of torque. So it's, uh, it's peppy. I like hearing the turbo whine uh, and do its thing and so I get to I get to hear that every day. That's kind of neat. You know, we are we are in what's called boost season. So, you know, as it starts to cool off outside, the air gets denser, and and you um you know your your vehicle starts to make a little bit more power, and so it can be harder to get the good gas mileage because it's so much fun to drive. There's not a lot to see when you pop the hood. Got a little bit of dirt under here and everything because I've got a little bit over 3,000 miles on it now. I've owned it for a little bit over three months, but you can say it's just, you know, it's like most new cars now. You just see a bunch of plastic covers and stuff like that. Um, not a whole lot to see really. The turbo is under all that covering right there. There, there you go. All those heat shields and stuff, so. But yeah, that's my 2022 Chevy Silverado. It's a great truck. I, I like it. You know, a lot of people are, have, I've seen online where have questions about it or have questioned the, the usability of it and, uh, you know, the fuel mileage. Like I say, on the interstate, if you're not dogging it, uh, yeah, I've gotten over 20, 22 miles per gallon, which is what my sticker says. Um, I, 
in the city, uh, you know, stop and go. I'm kind of a heavy footed person, but I don't, where I drive at every day, I'm not getting on the highway. I am just taking back roads. And I, like I say, I've been able to get 18.6 to 18.7 uh, miles per gallon. And that's over a tank of gas. So, you know, that's a pretty good average. And I'm hoping it'll get better, uh, you know, as it kind of gets broke in, so to speak. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my truck. And that is the 2022 Chevrolet Silverado Custom with the 2.7 liter turbo. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I am gonna do some more videos on this truck. I towed my camper with it and uh, wanna, you know, I'll show you about that and talk to you about all the fuel mileage and how well it tows, how well it doesn't tow um, and all those things. And so, uh, you know, if you like this kind of content, please think about liking and subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much.